what's up you guys welcome back to my channel before we get started y'all please do not forget to like this video comment subscribe to your girl because why not i'm cool as fuck just kidding i ain't shit i ain't shit okay well today guys as you can see in the title i know a lot of you guys want to turn into a 10 because we all know that no one's a 10 just no i don't think anyone's a 10 no, just kidding. You, you, there's some tens. There's some tens. I don't consider myself ten. I can turn into a ten, but you, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, y'all, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to go from a settle to a yes. Because, bitch, we all know everyone be catfishing out here, and I'm, I'm one of those. Okay, I'm definitely one of those. So, so currently my face is really messed up right now. Um, I'm on my. Too much information but i have two create i have two craters because i covered it with my baby hairs but i had two craters right here and i had this and i popped it and it looked really bad and then the eyebrows okay y'all um before we even get into the eyebrows i need you guys to pray for them and then you come back okay your girl thought she would look like um lady gaga for some reason but i ended up looking like um i don't know what the fuck i don't know what made me want to bleach my eyebrows i honestly don't know what's going on i don't even know at this point what's going on with my eyebrows or my head let's just pray these motherfuckers come back because i don't know what the fuck is going on with me but all right guys let's get into the video we're gonna start with some skincare today we're gonna be using some timmy products timmy has a skincare line that is all natural ingredients and honestly i fucks with that i am not a big fan of putting so much to my face i'm very just like simple just you know my cleanser my moisturizers and stuff like that all right so before we get into our skincare i do want to thank timmy for sponsoring this video y'all so this is what my skin is looking like so right now we're gonna apply the detox mask and a lot of you guys asked me on instagram what mask i was wearing so it is the detox mask by teeny i kind of just put it on areas where i feel like i usually break out so it's like right here so usually like on my nose i tend to break out a lot i don't know why i think it's because i produce like more oils there I'm going to put some up here because I've been breaking out right here, so... So we're going to leave this mask on for 10 to 15 minutes, and then we're going to wash this off. Y'all, this skin is glowing! It feels so good, it feels light. It for sure has been calming down my acne, the little acne I've been getting. So this one I got a little bit ago, and it's already dried up after using the mask. So basically this cleanser, I use it after I take off my makeup, and I love how it smells this one has matcha turmeric and sea, sea kelp no wonder like it kind of tingles a little bit but i think that's it's the turmeric in it and it feels really good so it feels like super refreshing after you take it off so i'm just gonna grab like one little pump like that that's like enough it smells really good you're just gonna rinse this off my face is feeling fresher than ever. So last step for our little skincare routine is, you know, a little serum, a little moisturizing. So the vitamin C serum from Teamy. This one has hibiscus and some vitamin C. So it's tea infused still. Everything is tea infused. We're just going to grab like a little bit on my non-existing brow part. And this is just perfect now we're good to go thank you teamy so much for sponsoring this video once again if you guys want to get their products i will leave my code right here and somewhere on the screen um it's wow Val, and you're gonna get 25 percent off so yeah sister go get yours now i'm gonna use my smashbox studio skin 24 hour hydrating foundation and i'm gonna mix it a little bit with my dior foundation undercover 24 full la -da 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 -da. so um now i'm just gonna mix those two that way i don't look extremely pale oh my god this is a good ass question someone said do you have any crazy ex-boyfriends any stalker yo this is a good one let's talk about that so one of my first boyfriends ever one of my first boyfriends basically like my real first relationship i had and it was like in junior year basically you know i kind of liked him at the beginning which is so not me 
No, actually, it's very me. The reason why I'm saying all this is because he ended up being obsessed with me after. So, you know, we dated yada yada yada. We did the whole, um, like, probably, like, a year of dating. I was just with him junior year. And then senior year, I had to move schools because I moved, like, um we were moving so i had to go to another school and at that time obviously i didn't have a car and he did but he was like yeah i don't think it's gonna work out because you're gonna go to that school and um you know it's just not gonna work out and i was like yeah you're right like it's just not gonna work out so whatever um i started just you know going to this new school i was single af next thing you know you know i cut him off because i was like yeah this is not gonna work out he literally becomes extremely obsessed with me. So I'm going to be using the Tarte in the color 22N, so light neutral. And this one is a little darker than what I usually wear, but lately I've been like trying that out just to see if my under eye doesn't look as bright. So I'm just going to put this. I literally have like a second degree burn on my freaking eyebrows because I decided to do that dumb shit. And then I'm going to grab my Tarte color and light sand, which is like a lighter shade. And I'm just going to dab this right here on like my cheekbones. But anyways, y'all, so he became obsessed with me. Like it was so crazy. Like I remember like you know i started talking to this other guy and he would like message him i'd remember he like leave me food outside of my house every single day like i don't even know how he had time for that every single day there was breakfast outside of my house there was just weird shit until i found out oh no no, no whatever so then it's like the end of the year right and um i'm gonna go to prom with this other guy because like i was like what the fuck like i'm going to prom like you and me are the root sis like we're not together so he found he found out that like you know i was gonna go with this guy that i was gonna go with someone else and he literally flipped the fuck off and he like when he messaged the guy that i was talking to saying that i was this that i was that and that he was gonna threaten me to send like that he was gonna send shit of me but it's like he didn't even have anything of me he probably could have just sent like old like conversations with both of us and send it to that other guy just to make it seem like you know i'm messing around with other people or whatever guys be so grimy bro like i'm telling you anyway so um they always want to threaten you to expose you don't they like they have so much to say about a bad bitch <laughs> So tell me why, you know, he does all of this, da, da 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 Next thing I know, I find out that this guy is sleeping outside of my, my house, like in, in his car. So I call his mom and I was like, hey, listen, like I don't even talk to your son, but like something's wrong with him, you know? And then she's like, oh, you know, she's just kind of going, he's just kind of going through it. And I was like, why do moms always defend kids like that? Like if I was a mom and I had a freaking child that was, you know, doing crazy shit, doing shit that doing shit that is just like not right like i would sit his ass down and be like excuse me like you need to learn how to be a good human a good guy a good gentleman i don't freaking know but like i hate moms that are always defending their their sons that are over here fucking wilding out and shit like girl like get your son for real but anyways um so she's like oh like you just kind of like broke his heart da -da -da. and i was like and that's why he's sleeping outside of my house i was like i'm gonna call the cops that's what's gonna happen He's cock blocking over here, sister. Like, I'm trying to meet so and so and go to prom with so and so, but I have so and so sleeping outside of my freaking house. So, so I'm gonna be using the RCMA powder to set my under eyes only and like to kind of just contour a little bit right here. AOA Studio the pro whatever it's full cover it's a it's supposed to be a foundation but i get like one of the darkest shades and i contour with it and i love how it comes out so i'm just gonna grab that brown i'm just kind of so i went ahead and i just put a little bit more of the rcma underneath my eyes and underneath this contour like that and then I'm going to go ahead and set my whole face. I'm going to go ahead and set my face with my trusty old Chanel powder. But I use this to set my whole face and just make it like um, less like white. And so I go over my contour too. That way it's not like super harsh. Ew. 
I had this dude sleeping outside of my house. I was like, boy, like, you need to go get a freaking life. Like, it was so scary, y'all. Like, sometimes, like, I got, to, it got to the point where, like, I was scared to, like, go out alone at night because, I don't know, if, if I, when I would come back home, if he'd be, like, outside of my house waiting for me, which he did. He did a couple of times, a couple of thousand times, actually. And, like, somehow, like, I knew how to control him, but I also knew he was a psycho, so I didn't really know what his intentions were if he wanted to kidnap me like i don't know he it was like on another level of scary to be honest i remember him like also going to my graduation like he was like outside like waiting with a bunch of stuff and i was like why like bro i'm talking to a new guy like it's embarrassing you feel me so yeah so anyways i'm using the dip brow and taupe um and so I actually cut off the ends of my eyebrows because I wanted to try out like that straight eyebrow look and um yeah that's exactly why I freaking decided to chop off my eyebrows because I wanted to look like Nikita Dragon. For those wondering how you can get more of like a lifted eye look, chopping half of your eyebrow and doing your eyebrow straight will give you that look. But I don't recommend you try this at home. I mean unless you're really bored. And unless, like, you really don't give a fuck about what you're going to look like until your eyebrows grow back, then you should try it. But in my case, it's like I have no one to go see. I have no dates. So, you know, half of my eyebrow could not exist. But yeah, dude, so this guy became so obsessed with me to the point that, like, his parents were like, you need to move. Like, you need to go out of state. Like, you literally need to go somewhere else and, like... <sighs> meet other people and and like socialize somewhere else because you're literally like going crazy and he did he moved states but the amount of times that i've received cards from colorado and a bunch of weird shit is it's just serious the amount of calls i get the amount of weird emails and stuff well i changed my number so i bet he's struggling now but um manifestation the law of attraction speaking things into existence maybe how to okay so um i've said this a lot in a lot of my videos that a lot of things that have happened in my life have really happened honest honestly only because i've thought about them things that i've wanted accomplished things that i put i've envisioned myself doing and i ended up doing okay so but the only way you can actually accomplish to do that is when you just picture yourself in that situation you have to think about what you really want in life because just how the song says in pussycat dolls be careful what you wish because you just might get it okay now what do you really want in life like do you you know what i mean like what is it that you really want like you want to accomplish you want to be successful you want to just do this you want to do that so ever since i was very young i've always pictured myself doing certain things so i'd be like it could, we could start with little things like i'd imagine myself holding the bunny and actually start having dreams about it because i would think about it so much but i know one day you know i will have it because that's what i want and that's what i that's what i'm like dreaming about right now so i pictured myself with it and when i was 12 even though it was years later and I and my mom got me the bunny finally because my mom's not a very big animal person and when I had the bunny in my hands I thought about that 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 dream or that time that I was just I was extreme that I was like oh my god dude that's so crazy like I've always wanted a bunny now I know that's a really small example but that's how it that's how it's been basically with my whole life like I remember living in Colombia and I was like damn like I don't know how but I want to go back to LA and I want to live there. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I know I'm going to be there. So boom, I started thinking about it a lot. I'd had dreams about it because I'd think about it too much. So I'd be like, damn, like, I'd even tell my friends, like, dude, I don't even, like, see myself living in Colombia. Like, I see myself working in Los Angeles again, like, living there again and accomplishing my dreams over there. And look at where I'm at. I'm here right now. So, you know, even though, you know, there's a process to reaching your goals and stuff like that the first step is always envisioning yourself doing those things and not forceful not not like okay i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm gonna be this like like no just just 
let it be like if that's what i used to have like like i said in my other video like i used to have like dreams and like just thoughts about me meeting um certain celebrities and the next thing i know i'm standing right next to them but it's only because in my head i manifested it in my head i pictured myself doing it therefore naturally like my body work towards that goal you know um so how to it's it, i can't really sit here and tell you how to other than just envision yourself tell yourself that you're gonna do it even in the toughest situations like i remember being stuck and i'd be like i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make it like i know i'm gonna do this i know you don't care i know you're not supporting but i'm gonna do this even when people doubted me i'd be like in my head i'm like all right that, like in my head i'm just i'll just look at them and i'm like okay whatever just don't be asking for this or don't be asking for that when i make it you know so that's a very that's a very important topic honestly i think i'm gonna make a video i'm just a full video about it because i feel like that's the one of the reasons why a lot of people accomplish things is because it's like something they always think about they vision themselves doing that and then boom next thing you know they're doing it that's what they're doing that's what they accomplished and so i know a lot of people that are negative i know a lot of people that don't have the same ambition that i do and most of the time they don't end up making it yeah they want it bad like they say like oh i want to be an artist da, 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 da. they want it bad but they are not actually doing anything to work towards that they don't picture themselves doing they really want it but they're not like i for example right now currently i've been thinking a lot about my dream car and it's just not a lot but like you know here and there i'm just like oh my car like oh can't wait to get my car like da, da 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 but it's like i'm already speaking into existence that i will get that car that dream car that i've been wanting so you know what i mean if i don't really think about it and talk about it i'm not going to work towards it so yeah there's like a lot behind that so i'm gonna go ahead and use the nubian the nubian the juvia's nubian palettes palette and i'm gonna use this color i'm gonna go ahead and just plop that brown and see how much more space i have because i cut off my brow that shit's crazy my mom was like you're crazy what are you doing i'm like mom you don't understand so um yeah manifesting things into existence is basically you just envisioning yourself doing certain things and the more you think about it like if you think about it at night before you go to sleep you most likely will dream about it and um that's just something that's gonna make you want to wake up in the morning and be like okay what am i doing today you know what am i gonna do today to accomplish that that goal i can't lack on my work ethic like i can't stop because then that's gonna stop me from my dreams you know every day i have to think about ideas every day i'm thinking about new stuff like i can't just sit there and ask for everyone's help and like hey can you do this for me and can you do that for me because that's just not how it works that's just not how life works let's let the ambulance do its performance once again so i'm gonna go ahead and pop like a little bronzy color like this one just to add a little bit of you know i'm gonna use my trusty old sephora contour palette that is out of stock right now and i couldn't order one but this one and this one is my favorite so i'm going to use a taupey shade in the middle i'm going to go ahead and grab my hula bronzer and use this to bronze up my face so i don't look super pale and white and I'm going to go ahead and also like sweep off that under eye and kind of just blend everything together so I don't look creepy. I like only like orangey colors so I'm going to plop this. So I'm going to use a dark, uh, a brown liner this time. So brown liner it is sweetheart. And I try to bring my liner more like out like that. all right y'all so i ended up popping on some lashes i did the saucy lashes by Batty b cute and i'm gonna set my face with the all-nighter the all-nighter the morphe spray love and then i'm gonna highlight the bobby brown and the artist couture all right y'all so i popped on my lashes um i did my highlighter 
So now I'm gonna do my lips and to use, um, should we do like more of a darker lip this time? So I'm gonna use the Kim Kardashian lip liner in Nude 2. It's like a dark brown. Um, so I'm gonna use a lipstick Honey Love by MAC. Fucking wind. Put that right here. And just kind of put it just a little bit on top. I'm not really used to like like really dark lip. So I'm gonna grab the Chanel gloss in the color 716. So I'm gonna put this like on the outer part. Like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead. Fenty gloss in the color Diamond Milk. Cute. We're ready for the date. We're ready to reply to all the DMs. Let's go reply to them. We're like, hey, y'all. Like, I turned into a tent today. Like, what's good? You trying to take me out to the park since we can't do anything? About the eyebrow situation, I kind of fixed it. So I don't know if you want to go out in public now. But yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this freaking video don't forget to like comment subscribe once again i have really dope videos coming soon so i hope you guys are ready we have some vlogs coming up we have some challenges so stay tuned for that don't forget to share this video with your homegirls let them know that they're not alone that they can turn into a baddie too thank you guys so much for watching and yeah i love you guys I swear it's so fucking loud. But yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.